What's up guys, it's Jason over Think Gaming. Today's video, I'm gonna start off right away by talking about Destiny FOMO. It's gonna be something real short, but basically I was gonna make a couple videos of her. You know, I made that one last video kind of criticizing her, you know, with that whole narrative of I was right. She kind of has been proving me right. But one thing shortly after I made that video, she had made a post on Instagram, you know, basically selling her stadium events. You know, I've criticized her in the past while buying that stadium events. The reason she did it was, you know, for clout with Pat from Pat the NES Punk, which is true because you know that's the reason I believe she bought it. Well, she was gonna sell it, I was gonna make a video around it, and I decided not to because of the situations that's happening right now. Now, just for the details, um, I did confirm she sold it. Somebody did show me some confirmation through a private Facebook group. Uh, it might be public, I'm not too sure, but a, a, a group that I'm not part of, uh, confirming that it was sold, and she took it off her Instagram, but the one detail that was in there was that the name was erased, Pat the NES Punk. So if you're wondering, yes, if you're gonna sell stadium events, and if you're gonna get that signed by Pat the NES Punk, who would erase it. Now, I decided not to do a video because of the situation that's going on with COVID-19 now. Just because I criticized Destiny, and I think she's a fake Switch YouTuber, fake gaming YouTuber, fake Nintendo YouTuber, you know, it doesn't mean that I think, like, she shouldn't be able to sell a game, especially something of that value. With what's going on right now, that's what games are for. A lot of games are valuable in people's collection, and when shit hits the fan, you, you sell it. I'm not saying that she's in that situation, but being the fact that she's from New York City, now I'm not doxing her, she stated that on her Twitter, she stated it other places, It's she's open with being from New York City, you know, that's getting hit real heavy here in the US so who am I to say that she can't sell her game now some other information did come to me that she did make an OnlyFans that will be another video for another day but as of right now I wasn't gonna make the video on the stadium events and and go with what I wanted to because of what's going on and that has to lead with the introduction of today's video what we're gonna talk about is Darius T uh, Truxton you guys are all familiar with Darius Truxton he's just somebody that's annoying in the gaming community I mean this dude is just freaking crazy. So this dude started off as a Game Chasers fan, a fan of many channels. He was in the Patreon of 8-Bit Eric. 8-Bit Eric is connected through the Game Chasers. He was a fan of many of these uh, gaming channels. So he's kind of like Stan from Eminem, you know, the fan that just went kind of crazy. That's how I kind of think of Darius. So he ended up going crazy. He made a channel just all around 8-Bit Eric. The dude harassed Eric. I mean, he engaged with doxers. It, it goes pretty far and he didn't only talk about Eric. I guess eventually that information got stale and he just started talking about any YouTubers he can. He's kind of off the cuff. He doesn't put critical thinking in his videos and he just blows off. Well, I want to talk about a video that he recently uploaded. He recently uploaded a video of Tom Barnett. If you guys are not familiar with Tom Barnett, basically he's a cult leader. I'm going to call him a cult leader. I don't give a fuck. He's a guy out here that's spreading a bunch of false information on the COVID-19. He's basically saying you can't catch a virus and he, you know, he's in incorporating theories with with vaccines and all kinds of stuff and basically is calling the situation that everyone you know is panicking here the pandemic of COVID-19 saying that it's fake you know that hospitals are empty a bunch of bogus stuff basically he's getting to all these people who believe in these conspiracy theories these tin hat full hat people and he's doing what a cult leader would do he's brainwashing people into the stupid shit but anyways Darius uploaded a one-for-one -one copy of Tom Barnett's video it wasn't any commentary it wasn't his opinion it was no reaction. It was a one for one upload. That's something that you could get a strike on YouTube. That's something that you shouldn't do. That's nothing that anyone should do to another creator. You should not give a one for one copy, you know, give some criticism behind it, make it your own video, throw in your own opinions. But no, uh, Darius found a loophole into the YouTube little system here. Some people probably didn't even know this was Darius, really thought it was Tom, and Darius's subscribe, subscriber count went up big time. He went up maybe a thousand subs, pretty close to a thousand and sixty thousand plus views. And the only reason I don't know the exact number of that video because it got taken down recently. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows why? So this howdy duty clout chasing motherfucker just went too far this time. This dude is getting so much into his conspiracy theories. Now, I don't want to throw his friend under the bus. He's a really cool YouTuber. I dig his videos. One of the YouTubers that actually knows him in person, Alpha Nerd, made a video kind of responding towards Darius and he called him out on, you know, that he pretty much lost it when he got into conspiracy theories. I told you back in 2013, let the conspiracy theories go. Obviously not all of them are going to be correct. So that's the thing about Darius Truxton. He got obsessed with Alec Jones back in 2012 and he fell down the rabbit hole of conspiracy theories. And his mind is mentally caving in on itself, okay? He's out there trying to expose people. Focus on yourself. 
put out good content. So what did Darius do after he got all these subs and all these views and attention was on him? He licked more ass than these millennials are licking toilet seats these days. Now, with all these subscribers that have flooded in, um, you know, I got to, got to ask, like, what, where should I go from here? I am willing to branch out and cover other topics that maybe aren't related to uh, gaming YouTubers. I can talk about conspiracies. I, I, I love talking about conspiracies. Um, I can talk about any topics from uh, flat earth to uh, the moon landing, anything. Seeing where should I go from here? I'm just like, kind of letting majority rules type of thing. If all these new subscribers come over here and they want me to talk about you know, other stuff, I'm open to it. You guys let me know what uh, content you'd like to see on my channel, especially the people who just subscribed. So shortly after this, Radical Rick made his own series on the Tom Barnett situation. I think he did a really good job. I agreed with most of his viewpoints. I mean, Tom is pretty much a cult leader. I mean, he, he's running a fucking cult. That's what he's running. He's spreading false information. Darius is fucking biting it. And Darius got really offended. I mean, Darius really believes in this shit. It's fucking crazy. I mean, I have nothing against some conspiracy theories, but this one's like way too far. Like, Come on. That supposedly he eats raw chicken. That that's that's Tom's thing. So here's a few comments that you could find between Darius and Rick in those videos. Rick has officially lost his mind. Tom is a million times healthier than any beta male in his comment section. I just talked about a health guru and a medical expert eating raw chicken in a final attempt to cram some fucking common sense into your tiny brain. You will forever be known as the guy who sticks up for idiots who choose to eat raw chicken and lie about viruses in the middle of a worldwide pandemic. Good luck ever being taken seriously again. Rick has a good fucking point there. Who's a fucking take this idiot Darius seriously? Meanwhile, several top MDs are confirming this to be true. And all New York City hospitals and testing centers are completely empty. But never mind the facts. Wash your hands. Live in fear. Seriously, Darius, that's how fucking brainwashed you are. You re-upload the video of a man claiming human beings cannot catch viruses. Let that sink in. You are spreading blatant stupidity to your audience, which is messed up in its own right. But we are in the middle of a real pandemic. People are dying from this virus, Darius, and you choose to be ignorant to this reality. But yeah, keep telling people the virus isn't real and not to worry until you get it from your reckless stupidity. Darius got destroyed by Rick and many people in the comment section. It's fucking hilarious. But anyways, I want to touch on the New York City part. So Darius is saying that the hospitals and the testing facilities are empty in New York City. Now I want to throw a shout out to two YouTubers that I seen personally on, on the platform that have experience there in New York City. The first one goes to T-Belly. Awesome dude. Now on his Twitter, he has come out and he said information about all the deaths. He knows about them going up. They haven't come down. He has connections in the hospital. Somebody that knows the death rate of one hospital and it's fucking crazy. I mean, it's so sad to hear this shit and this shit is fucking real. The other YouTuber is Lawrence Dagstein. He's been having symptoms. I'm not too sure if it's been confirmed yet. Hopefully not. Hopefully he's feeling better. But he has um, showed pictures of, of somewhere of a testing facility that's packed and he said something that he used to go to the conventions there and stuff so this shit's fucking real and i don't know what fucking planet that darius is, is on i'm pretty sure there in canada is just as real the dude's just fucked up in the head so Darius makes a video saying that he's leaving the anti-e-beggar community, that the anti-e-beggar community is a joke, all this shit. Now, one of two things made him do this. It's either his sub count and, you know, his ego just grew of having that, woo, 1,000 extra subs, or it was, you know, Rick right here pretty much destroying him. If you disagree with him, he'll block you on his channel. So uh, he can't take criticism. So I, you know, it's one of two things, which probably is he couldn't take Rick's criticism. I am done. I, I, I am done with this anti-e-begging community this radical rick community thing it's just it's ridiculous just rick is just off the fucking deep end right now he's just so butthurt that i uploaded a video got a lot of subs and views i, I don't like this community anymore it's disgusting and it's everyone's all just taking jabs at each other constantly it's 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 fucking pathetic one guy does one guy does good on a video and then you, other people gotta throw jabs at him out of jealousy so yeah, so just let this community die. It's done. It's dead. Everyone just turns their back on each other. They're all butthurt over other people's success. Just enough. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll go a completely different direction with my channel. I don't know yet. But I'm just, I'm done with bitching about these YouTubers. It's just dumb.
success on your video? Remember, that's not even your video, Darius. That's Tom Barnett's video. He didn't do shit but re-upload it. Why is the video missing? If it was your material, it would probably still be on there, wouldn't it? Nobody is jealous that Darius is gaining subs from stealing content. The other thing I want to say, just because Darius is saying that the hospitals are empty and the testing facilities are empty in New York does not make this true, no matter how many times he says it. And the last thing I want to say is the virus is really real. A lot of us would never have thought, including myself, that we would live to see this shit. It's affected many people close to home. Many people are losing jobs. Many people don't know how they're going to pay rent, their car note. They, they don't know exactly how they're going to eat. Some people are getting real bad. I mean, it, it's freaking crazy. Like the grocery stores, just to go to a grocery store, I would have never thought I'd had to wait in a fucking line and be worried about fucking catching fucking something. Like it's fucking crazy. The shit is fucking real. Don't believe in the fucking conspiracies. I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was just a quick video just showing you guys don't fucking believe people on the fucking internet. All this fucking bullshit that, you know, Look at Darius. Come on, you want to look like that? But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please drop a like. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I'll be catching you guys soon. Peace out.